Hello everybody and thank you for joining me on this lovely but cold windy day in October. It is time for October's Glossy Box. But before we go into that, let's talk about last month's uh, Glossy Box, which was September. And my favourites and not so favourites. So, my favourite, I have to say, is the L'Oreal Professional Mythic Oil Mask. Um, there we go. Uh, usually I don't it, find it hard to find a hair product that is good for controlling frizz and making my hair more softer and manageable and I know there are loads of products out there that do that but um, I find it difficult to actually find one for me that's good for me but I have found that this one the Mythic Oil Mask is great still a bit my hair's still a bit fuzzy, but then it's not supposed to help with frizz. It makes it more your hair more softer and manageable, which is exactly what it does. And I love this, absolutely love it. It smells lovely, and it feels good. And you feel nice on my hair. And you only need a tiny, well, not a tiny bit, but you need you don't need to use a lot of it. You know, you don't need to put loads in your hair to for it to work. You only need a little bit. Um, and I will definitely be buying this um, when I run out of this one, definitely, because I think the first time I used it, I was doing this all the time, because I was like, I can't believe my hair feels so soft. <laughs> anyway, um, my not so favourite was the Skin Pep um, uh, samples that I had. The mask, the acid, the, the peeling gel um, was okay. I. Um, it did make it feel a little bit soft and the only thing I didn't like about that is to get a full size product you got a, it is £89 for a full size product um, the dark circle eraser um, cream by them as well I didn't like only because um, I thought it just didn't do anything I didn't feel it did anything there wasn't even didn't see um, even the slightest improvement at all. I saw no improvement, no no difference at all. So I just didn't like it because of that. It was sort of disappointing, really. Um, and for a full-size product of that is $44.99, I believe. So for either the the face gel or the um, skin, uh, the eye cream, I thought, is way too expensive. I didn't think that it's actually either of them actually worth that price. So that's why I I, I know I definitely won't be buying them because when it's too expensive too, they they just I don't think they're worth. I, I just don't don't think they're worth it. Um, anyway, let's get on to this month's a glossy box, which is oh, I'll pick it up. Is a, if you remember from last time, he said it was going to be a, a pop art collector's edition, and that's what we have by here. Here's a pop art. There we go. And um, this month, what they've done this month is um, they said they wanted to reduce their carbon footprint. So this month's product card is online. So if I'm looking that way, it's because I'm reading the little product card that usually comes in the box, but this time it's on online, so I bought that up. So I'm going to be doing this. I apologise if I'm doing that. So first of all, let's have a look what we've got here. Excuse me. We have. Oh yes, I remember. On last month's box, they gave you a little sneaky peek of what was going to be in. Of one of the products that we're going to be in this box, this month's box, and it's the mask creme fraiche, which is that, and um, yeah, that's one of the things that they said was going to be in the box. So I was actually looking forward to trying this. I've been looking forward to trying this. Uh, it's a 24-hour soothing and rehydrating fresh mask. Um, it hydrates and soothes the skin, instantly reduces discomfort or redness, and the skin is left looking radiant and relaxed. So, and I believe that this is a full-size product that we've got here. 
full size products. Who doesn't love full size products? Um, there you go. Um, and to for the application, you're supposed to apply it once or twice a week to the face and the eye area for ten minutes. Um, ensure any excess is absorbed by massaging in using your fingertips. Uh, keeping the fridge for an even more refreshing effect. Um, I probably won't be keeping it in the fridge myself only because I'll either put it in the fridge and forget it's in there or I'll put it in the fridge take it out to use and then forget to put it in so I'm just gonna not put it in the fridge because it can be a bit forgetful sometimes and uh, yeah but I am looking forward to trying this I've been looking forward to it since I knew it was going to be in the box so we will see what that's like and I will let you know next month um, next we've oh, nearly dropped it. Nearly dropped it. Um, next we've got the um, Audre Belle Cosmetics. If I pronounce that right, not very good with French. Um, I think it's French anyway. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Or oh, might not be. It's a lip lift peel. So there you go. And this is a full size product as well. Mm -hmm. um, get replenished and defined lips in an instant with this moisturizing lip exfoliator. The gentle formula removes dead cells, refining the skin's surface for perfectly soft skin. Now, I've never used a lip exfoliator before, so I'm really excited about trying this. Um, I feel that it is um, always good to exfoliate the lips. To remove um, dry skin or to stop them from being dry um, and it's nice you know with my soft lips but I've never actually got around to trying using exfoliator um, for the lips so I will definitely be trying this give this a go um, you've got like a little pen well it's like a little, like a little felted pen sort of like thing you remember when they used to be and anyway, I'm just babbling sorry if I put a little bit, you can feel, yeah, you can feel the, the way that it would be exfoliating. It's not too harsh on there either. It doesn't feel like as if, you know, some exfoliators, you put a skin exfoliators anyway, you put them on and they're like really big beads at the end, sometimes go all red, but these are little ones. And, um, yeah, that feels not too bad, actually. I will probably like using this, um, as we will see. Um, and it doesn't feel like um, really greasy either on there. It just yeah, it smooths that out really nicely. Um, so that's going to be a good product to try. Next, we've got ah, so Susan. Oh, just dropped it. Hang on a second. Oh, now I've tried um, one of the. Uh, cosmetics before and I think that was the blush I think it was the blusher and it was nice but the only thing that I didn't like about that was the color that I had in the box I didn't feel suited me that much if it was a shade that I thought suited me excuse me I've got hiccups today I don't know why <laughs> um if it was a shade that I thought suited me more I, I would have loved it even more but it, it was nice to try um so we've got another So Susan um, uh, cosmetic. This time it's a mascara. It's called Flutter Mascara. So there we go. And it also looks like it could be, you know, like a, a nice luxury product. The fact it's all gold and, you know, maybe that's just me, but I think it looks lovely in that gold. There we go. Um, it says it's an intense carbon black mascara formulated with a formulated to help you achieve the darkest, curviest lashes possible. You're supposed to apply the first coat and sweep, and, sorry, and sweep the wand upwards for black, voluminous lashes. Apply a second coat to seal the curl in. So, I will definitely be trying that. I'm running out on mascara anyway, the mascara that I have been using. Almost done with that, so perfect timing actually. So I won't have to buy any of the mascara. I can give this one a go. Yay! So, there we go. And we have a nail varnish. 
And when you know it's a blue one, a blue one. The last three coloured nail varnishes, well not the last three, the last two, the last two, not the last two but previous, wasn't, sorry, anyway, other uh, nail, coloured nail varnishes I've had have been blue, I'm missing that I like blue or something but that's fine. This one is um, Skinny Jeans shade. Um, and it says, enjoy a pop of colour, um, a stunningly and intensely pigmented paint pot, part of a range currently boasting 88 head tuning and trend setting shades. Um, we shall try this. Um, I don't mind blue, I've got things, yeah, the other blue nail varnish that came in this, uh, the, in the previous box was um, I, I've used quite a lot since. But judging by this, so it looks I might only need. Um, maybe we'll just try. I think that from this, I know I haven't done put, I haven't put it on perfectly. I'm not giving you a finger. <laughs> I should maybe put the nail polish on a different finger, but. As you can see, I think it only needs one coat for that, for the colour to come through quite well. I think one coat would probably be enough. Um, but I guess if you wanted it to be darker again, then you could put a second coat on. But I think, I don't know, I think one coat would probably be enough for me. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Probably be another one that I'm going to be using a lot. And the next then we have got uh, Yves Rocher France perfume. There we go. And um, it says that this scent encapsulates the feeling of falling in love through fusing notes of rose and patchouli. Oh, I can just picture walking through a uh, 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 sort of forest or field with little, little white blossoms and blossoms in the trees and just walking la, la. Oh, anyway, sorry I'm getting carried away there I apologize um, anyway and this is perfume oh this is nice um, some a lot of perfume um, samples that you get are usually in like little sort of bottles like that I find but this time we've got like a um, like a little sort of mini perfume bottle, which is nice. It's nice, and let's have a smell. Oh, that smells. Mm, you can smell the rose and patchouli in that. That is really nice, really nice, and it's a. I find it's a little. Uh, quite um, heavily scented and, and it's a nice scent so I think you'd probably only need to dab on a little bit to actually uh, have the smell of scent I don't think you need to use a lot of that but that's me just saying that I can try I'm gonna try anyway um, but I'm absolutely loving the smell of that that's gorgeous gorgeous um, then lastly, we have got uh, a Rimmel London BB Cream, matte, um, and I use the BB Cream already, um, I think the one I use is um, Miss Sporty and I think that's a light one, um, but with this one, I've seen these in shops like Superdrug and Boots and places like that, and I've been wanting to try it, but I've never actually got around to buying, buying it yet, so I'm kind of glad that I've got like a little sample now so I can try it before I actually go out and buy it. Um, it's a 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup and it's a multitasking 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Makeup Cream with a natural formula um, with witch hazel and gives a flawless matte look. So and it's this one's a light one too which is good and it's got always makeup's always good when it's got a sun factor sun protection factor and this one's got 15 so that's always nice 
So let's try a little bit mm. right on there. And we will rub it in. And I think, yeah, that actually quite blends in quite well with my skin. So if you can see that when I rubbed it in. And I always go for a sh shade a little lighter than my skin. And it's not it's not too light either. It doesn't look like it doesn't look porcelain porcelain or anything. So I think I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like that a lot actually. Um you never know, it's probably one I am gonna end up swapping to. So we will see about that as well. Anyway, that is all for October's um glossy box. But what's exciting, what's exciting me is that we have got one, two, um, yeah, one, two, three, four, four full size products. That is most all of the, apart from two, most of the box. Oh, full size products! Oh my god! I can't wait to try them all! Oh, calm down, Louise! Calm down! Gosh. Anyway, so that's all for this month's um, box. If you like uh, my videos, then please be sure to give me a like and also subscribe because that way you won't miss any of my vlogs or performance videos. And I have got a performance coming up at the end of the month. It's in. Um, it's a Halloween show in Birmingham at the Old Stock Theatre, I believe it is. And um, there will be a video after that show. There will be I will be putting a video up of that um, of that um, show. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe or that way, yeah, you won't miss all of my performance videos or vlogs. So that would be great. Just subscribe and also get, if you would like to comment then please feel free to do so. What did you get in your box? And um, uh, are you looking any products that you're looking forward to trying? Or have you tried any of these already? You know, what, what do you think of them? Or any comments you like, you can give me a comment because I always like to hear from all of you. And um, that is it. So I will see you soon when I put up my performance video at the end of the month. And I hope you like that. And I hope you like this video too. So until then, 